it'd be the easiest way to do it. This living room full of clothes, hand sanitizer, and puzzle books came from the generosity of dozens of donors in three counties. I put out um, an event on Facebook, and then it kind of took off from there. People started donating, and then I got in touch with um, some people at Covenant that got me in touch with WNEM, and they did a little um, news clip on there of everything that I was trying to accomplish, and then it really exploded. We have over 100 outfits and blankets, and we've got swaddles and bibs and booties. Yeah. This collection was started last month thanks to this little lady, Kylie, who spent time at Covenant Healthcare's neonatal intensive care unit last May. And that's when they told us that Kylie was going to be born with a rare birth defect called gastroschisis. And gastroschisis is when there's a hole in the abdomen, the abdominal wall, and it's usually to the right of the umbilical cord, and that allows for the um, intestines and sometimes other organs to protrude out of the abdomen. So the babies, when they are born, are born with their organs on the outside of their body. Haley remembers the delivery room was full of doctors and nurses for her and her baby. There was a point in time where um, the NICU doctor had stopped everybody and told them all to back up for a second, let dad get some pictures, and then brought the baby over, or brought Kylie over to me so I could give her a kiss before she went off to surgery, which was huge for me and for him. Today, Haley is back at Covenant, unloading the stocking she stuffed last night. A last-minute cash gift from Texas was turned into food cards for NICU parents to eat while visiting the hospital. Haley was stunned by the long-distance donation. I think I stood in the store and cried for about 20 minutes as people stared at me and walked by. Uh, and I actually had to ask her, did you really mean to send me $650? Because, I mean, sometimes you fat finger your phone. So that was probably the highlight of all of this, just seeing how generous everybody can be. The stockings were transported up to NICU, where Haley saw some familiar faces. The care at the NICU was amazing. Um, I've said it to, I don't even know how many people. Um, we wouldn't have been able to get through everything emotionally the way that we did if it wasn't for a lot of the staff that are there. I mean, there was never a time that we had ever felt uninformed or underinformed or afraid of the next step because we were always walked through everything step by step. And if we had any questions on anything or any concerns, we never felt like we were a burden for asking questions, which is an amazing thing when it comes to your child, especially a child that is going to be born with a rare birth defect. Kylie shows little sign of those early difficulties. She's full of smiles and now seven months old. Kylie is the happiest baby. She, at daycare, they call her Smiley Kylie. Um, she's not very vocal yet, which is a good thing at times. The only time she really gets upset is if she's hungry, which is great for a gastro baby. A lot of times they have troubles eating and putting on weight and she doesn't have any of those problems. Um, so she's doing exceptionally well. And while Haley admits this collection was a bit hectic, she's already talking about improvements with next year's donations. Wednesday, I was out in Midland and Saginaw. I went out to Stanford to pick some donations really? up. My husband's like, next year we gotta find like a drop spot. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. If you'd like more information about gastroschisis research and support, check out Haley's Facebook page or online at averysangels.org.